sadly over Christmas break, um, Mr. Leland passed away. Um, if you know Mr. Leland, very, very nice dude. Um, really has a, you, can, you can have a conversation with this dude pretty much about everything. Yeah, I mean, he he ref for the, I think, uh, Arkansas officiating or whatever association or something like yeah. that. He did that for a while. He was a janitor at the high school forever. I mean, I got really close to him every day in like third hour. I talked to him all the time about everything. He's just one of those guys you walk down the hall and see him. You get to start up a conversation. With him. Yeah, I'm, he's really funny. You I mean, never see the dude in a bad mood. No. He's always if you're in a he bad always mood, has a smile on his face yeah. all he, the time. He'll put a smile on other faces. He always too. has something to joke about, something to tell you to make you a little bit happier for your day. Yeah. Um, I mean, he, uh, him and uh, Carl Ramsey were really close also. He, uh, he like, kept the book for Carl Ramsey at uh, U of O for the longest. He kept the book here at Lamar for Carl Ramsey. I mean, they went way back together and just... Sad to see something yeah. happen to a person like that. Very, very... I mean, most kids here at Lamar were close with Leland, honestly. There was a lot of people that showed up. I went to his funeral myself, and there was a lot of people from the school there, and it just, it was a big loss for everybody, and just prayers to his family. And Even if you didn't know him, once you start, like, he would come up to you, and he, whatever it was about, you know, if it was something, like, completely out of pocket, like, it was, he would always put a smile on everybody's face he would talk to, something like a lot you gotta be grateful for a person like that. Yeah. Um and sadly with his passing, you know, we're gonna miss him. Um from our high school miss him. He's a very nice guy around here. Very good. Yeah. Um like I said, I'm Jonathan Nancy. I'm Bill Moss. Morgan Harrison. You're listening to the Trap Talk Podcast. So something that happened recently was the Carl Ramsey court dedication. Personally, I don't know much about him. Can you tell me anything that you um, know? Well, if you didn't play for Ramsey, you played for Sudman. Those are the only two girl coaches recently. Um, the thing about Ramsey, <coughs> he, was a re- <coughs> he was a really good coach, and uh, all the all the girls that were talking at the dedication were just talking about how good of a person he was, and he was always there for him. I heard a story about uh, where this girl, her home life wasn't good, and she couldn't like wash her clothes or take showers or anything. And he, like, let her, like, take showers and wash her clothes and everything to make sure she was okay. So I thought that was very nice of him. It's really good of a coach to do that because coaches can really help you out, not just on the field or on the court, but outside of school and sports as well. And not only with that, I think personally, it just brings the team closer together, knowing you have a coach that cares when you break out huddles or into practice and you say family. Doing that makes you feel more like a family. Yeah, and uh, I know he. Th- I think he won in eighty eight and ninety one his two only, state titles. Only girls. T- only Tom Lamar has won state in basketball. Correct? Yes, and uh, uh, most teachers, most people around Lamar have played for him, and liked him as a coach overall. But for me personally, I don't know him that well. But for me, hearing everything, I think he's a really great guy. And just with him having his name on the court, I think it's just very big for him. It's a huge honor. Personally, I think that'd be something really cool to tell your grandkids or kids like, "Hey, I'm on the, my name's on that court. That court's named after me." Yeah. But um, yeah, shout out to uh, Coach Ramsey, very big part of the school. And um, I'm Jonathan Dante. I'm Dylan Moss. Thank you for listening to the Trap Talk Podcast. Recently, we've had a COVID outbreak. As you can tell, we haven't posted in a little while. Um, we're going to try our best to keep the podcast coming out a lot faster. Um, next thing, we'll have a, um, a high school football video coming out. should be a really good video. I'm excited to make that. We're going to talk about the history of Lamar football on that one. I think y'all will like it. But um, that's what you'll expect next from us. And hopefully we can get some more podcasts out. That's our biggest goal is to get these rolling and out faster. But yeah, um, that's what we expect. Out, that's what we expect to come out. Hopefully, we live up to what we said. But yeah, thank y'all for watching. I'm Jonathan Dante. I'm Dylan Moss. Landon Harrison. Thank you for listening to the Tribe Talk podcast.